There we go, into a sat. That's where half the glider is uh, actually stalled. And that's why it uh, gives the appearance that he's uh, counter-rotating around himself and the wings flying backwards. Yeah, getting it. Nice, right next to the pinion. He's gonna swoop it. Yeah, wicked, 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 wicked. We decided since, uh, since we were getting great altitude and uh, it was a good day, we decided to go do it again. It was getting a little bit later in the day, the conditions were getting a little bit more erratic and a little bit rowdier. Kind of midday, the winds have picked up. It's kind of uh, <laughs> it's, it's not allowing the thermals to, to form right. So. We know what we're doing, and uh, we, we pull stuff off and make it look that way, but it's, it, it's dangerous, it's sketchy, and I'm nervous every time I'm up there. Now got high again and uh, ended up going, trying to get a shot in between uh, the camera guys and the pinon was in kind of a rough area, and I threw down a heli, um, had it going for a second, went to recover it. Um, I don't know if I had a wind shear or my one hand was higher than the other when I recovered, but it just shot me into a bit of a line twist situation, uh, which then entailed uh, me spiraling out, had no control of things. Come on, guys, get it together. Get it together, guys. Reach down deployed my reserve, came out, uh, had to pull it in for a sec, make sure that the wing wasn't gonna eat it up, but it, it did come open and uh, ended up falling, falling down under a reserve in my paraglider. <laughs> All right, so that's what happens when tricks go bad. This is, uh, your, if you're okay, Carson. Hey, I'm okay. I'm just dangling here about mm, 15 feet over the ground. I'm going to try to uh, climb out of my harness here and uh, deal with the situation. Right off about five feet in front of me or four feet in front of me was a little bit of a flat ledge. I right, ended up swinging out of my harness and hanging on one of my, my straps, um, trying to swing myself over to that flat ledge. Got out of the harness. I'm all safe, I'm all good. That's why we have reserves. Wow. <laughs> that was epic, definitely got my blood flowing. So uh, I'm gonna deal with this, get my, uh, Get my wing out of the air, or out of the tree. Right on, whoo, I'm alive. A couple minutes after that, about three or four uh, local adolescent kids came up and uh, without even asking or anything, they were just in the tree, and just, just pulling things out, climbing up in the tops of these trees, just totally putting their lives at risk, yanking my wing out of the tree for me and getting it all taken care of. <laughs> Hiking down from the pinon right now. Right from on top of the, on the side of the hill where I just landed in my reserve. Got these dudes taking care of my stuff. It's really interesting how the paragliding in this area of Mexico has affected uh, these people. They're so familiar with how things work. And I was unscathed. You know, that's why we carry the reserves. 
doing acro, there's always a chance you're going to have to throw your reserve. Um, it's a great experience for me. It's the first time I've ever thrown my reserve. The normal person may call it a day after a close call like that, but not these nomads. They're back on top and ready to try another stunt. This time, base jumping. So this time uh, we're going to fly off El Torre, uh, which is the site local here over Valle de Bravo. And uh, we're going to get out over the water. Carson's going to be my tandem pilot, and I'm going to hook out. Base rig, probably do a 10, 12 second free fall. Deploy and go land and have a beer. Good as always, nothing like uh, letting gravity take over for a couple seconds in your life and come back. Nothing beats it. For the next session, uh, I went up as the passenger, Mike was the pilot. Um, did the same thing, we decided to try to do a little, uh, a little huckage. I'm gonna fly out over the water, uh, I'm gonna drop out of the harness and hang from one of the webbing straps, and he's gonna start cranking a spiral, I'm gonna let go. And to a base jump or a single parachute skydive, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be fun. Carson is the definition of an adrenaline junkie. Um, I, I'd consider myself an adrenaline connoisseur. I like to sample here and there, and uh, he just, he, he loves it. Good. Don't <laughs> 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 We got out, we weren't super high over the water. Carson and I conversed about it, and I was like, dude, you sure you don't just want to jump out normal? And Carson, being the, the maniac that he is, wanted to uh, stick, stick to our original plant. Swung out of the harness, was hanging on. Mike started a nice spiral. Probably got about one revolution in before there was enough energy where I just really couldn't hold on much longer, and I let go. Flung me out, dead air, didn't have a lot of fillers out there, wasn't able to really fly my body quite yet. Was able to flip over onto my stomach and immediately pitch, and that was pretty low. This is all good when in the water. Go over my shoulder, and here comes a jet ski and a boat immediately on the scene, just like that. They pulled my parachute into their boat, and I was able to climb in, and they gave me a ride back to shore. You hold on way longer, I thought you were gonna. I was like, we're low, man. You got the fling and the ding. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you flipped over. I, it was incredible, man. I can't believe. That was awesome. That went, that went pretty good. Pulled a little bit low. Ended up in the sewer, but all in all, it was, it was a good job. Carson's base jump over the lake was uh, Probably one of the cooler things I've ever seen somebody else do. It's one of the lowest poles that I've ever seen, but uh, Carson knows what he's doing. Uh, it, was, it was a joy to watch it from the air and come in and congratulate him and uh, have a beer. For me, base jumping is about pushing it to the limits, you know, pushing it as low as you can go without getting hurt, and I think I did that. Coming up, Nomads meets up with local trike pilot Vico Gutierrez to experience life as a bird. This crew of Nomads was fortunate enough to meet up with local trike specialist Vico Gutierrez. Mike and Carl